Uh, today, we're going to compare the Philips Hue Signy, I think that's how you would pronounce that, Signy, versus the Govi Lycra Floor Lamp. So both Boom. of these are available in uh, floor or table versions. Uh, here we have the floor versions. I actually was able to pick this up from Philips Hue directly on their website for $300. It uh, just came back in stock. So I was able to get that to make this video for you guys. So you're in luck. And I was able to find this on Amazon for around $150, which was a steal. Out of the box, this giant thing came in a big box. It was a big brown box. There was no assembly required. I just pulled this thing out, put it in the corner of the house, plugged it in and was able to connect it to our Philips Hue bridge, which of course I already purchased because you know, Philips Hue, you gotta have the other things ahead of time. It's not just the cost of the light bulbs or the right. product, you, know, you got other things. So fortunately I already had that. Otherwise, you know, you'd be in for another 50 bucks uh, just to control the stupid thing. Unless you use Bluetooth, of course, then you can do that as well uh, through the app. But I brought it here, uh, we're filming off site today and I wanted to go demonstrate some of the cool features, but it's connected to my Philips Hue bridge at home and there isn't an easy way for me to just switch to Bluetooth. So I was able to plug it in and here's the great color that we got. How I would like to start my review of the Govi is really just to thank the Academy. I really like to thank the Academy for giving us such a phenomenal floor lamp. As you can tell, this box, there was some assembly required, but it took about 10 minutes. It really wasn't that difficult. The base, and then you put- With my assistance, of course. The first one Brandon assisted, the second one I got all on my own, thank oh, you very okay. much. That one actually turned out better, so I guess you- <laughs> Yes, but in the back here, you really just had to uh, tighten these back, brace in, back braces in, connect the light strip in there, press it in there, plug it in, and boom, bingo, you're done. So as Brenda was mentioning that this is connected to his home. It's also connected to my home. But the nice thing about Gobi is it gives you a remote. So you can do some really cool, fun things with it. Cool. So you could bring it to a friend's house. It is portable for the most part, um, pretty lightweight. You know, like I can just move it around like that, no problem. But the remote comes with lots of different fun features where you can sync it up with music if you're wanting to do stuff, lots of different cool scenes. But then you can also just go through and pick some fun colors, right? So if you're wanting red theme, if you're wanting, you know, green, orange, red, but then you can also dim. You can also just do cool colors and warm colors with the touch of a button with the remote which is a very fun and cool feature. The best thing is though, it's like 150 bucks, right? So this is very easy. This is great for like kids rooms, for theaters, you know, um, different areas of the house where, where you just kind of want a, a little extra lighting that doesn't take up a lot of time. I do think though that the base is a little bit bigger than the Philips Hue one, which does take a little bit floor space. Aesthetically, they're very similar, mm -hmm. basically the same height. This one came in black, that's options there. And Maybe the base is a little nicer, but you know, you're sticking it in a corner of a room. What does it really matter? Right. Uh, so, you know, again, I guess I guess I go back to you know, if you are invested in the ecosystem, you know, if you got all Philips Hue products, then sure, maybe it's worth spending a little extra to get another device that's going to play well and and add into that entertainment zone. But I'm really jealous of that remote and you know all the different stuff you can do with the music mode. Uh, just jamming out. I wish I had really cool dynamic scenes for this one. You know, it's more of a static design unless you're, you're doing syncs or you're uh, using a different app. Uh, so in that regard, I think the Govi Lyra is definitely a, an incredible bang for your buck. Uh, but we're going to have to battle it out and really find out. Since mine is red, does that mean I'm the bad guy? Sure. So here we have the Govi uh, app, which is super easy to use, but we have one of the lamps. Uh, my daughter has a light strip in her room, the theater TV that we discussed, and my two theater lamps that, that we talked about, the, the big floor light lycra lamps. As you can see, one of them is showing that it's offline because it's here, it's not at home. Um, but so I can see all of that. I can turn things on and off uh, remotely. So like if I wanted to turn the one on at home, Operation succeeded, so I know that even though I'm here and not connected to my home Wi-Fi, 
I just turn that on. Then we have the theater TV. We can also go in there. It's going to connect. I can go into the effects lab and I can pick different colors. Those are the basic colors, the different emotions. So if you're feeling any of these emotions, these are the colors that do really well with that. Can also go in there and do timer. So if you want to set certain times for, for different um, lights, you can go ahead and do that. So it shows you the product right there. So with it being on, you can come here and you can put it in the different modes, the brightness as I talked about, put it at 100%, but then you can do fun scenes. Gives you lots to different to choose from. All the different colors. And you can do them in, in zone. So as you can see here that each one is set to 100%, but you can um, edit the zones of it. Put the main colors in and whatnot. You can also save. So if you have specific colors that you really like, you can add them in there in the My Colors. So here we have the Philips Hue app. Right now I'm on my home screen. It's going to show the different rooms I have set up. Uh, but right here on the home screen, I can click in uh, to the different rooms and I'll be able to see the different lights I have connected. I can do the different scenes. I can uh, click into each individual light. And when I go over to settings, you'll see we've connected to my Philips Hue bridge. I'm currently using the out of home control in order to uh, access uh, the products back at home. And you click lights and that's how you're able to actually add additional lights. Uh, these are the ones that I have set up. And I can click into them. And then accessories, it should pull up my, uh, there we go, our Lutron Aura. So I have that as set up to control the outside lights. Uh, but here we have the different entertainment areas. And so uh, entertainment area one is our, our only one, but we have the different lights there. And what it's going to do is allow me to place them throughout the room. And so you can see uh, where they are within the space and then the different heights. And so this is all adjustable. Uh, it's a pretty high level overview here of, of the different options here. I'll jump in and just show you guys like here's how you can kind of change the color temperature You can make the different colors there and drag the different light sticks and so uh, So there and we can also do like the different scenes like I mentioned uh, You can collect uh, select them from the Philips Hue gallery and They're really cool looking themes uh, but they're all static, and so it's none of it is going to uh, be doing any of those really cool effects or anything. So it's a feature I wish that they would add.